What is going on lads? It's your boy Take a Luke here back again with another episode of That's WWE Smackdown Show you the old retro style season mode. This is WrestleMania. No bigger stage in our industry than this. WrestleMania. X8! We're here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the greatest. And we are facing. The NWO's Hollywood Hulk Hogan. And technically, I guess, at this time, as Chris Jericho wins the half World Championship, of course, Eddie Guerrero should retain the Cruiserweight Championship. He does. Look, dude. We have the streak to defend. Here comes Hulk Hogan, I mean, dude, you can, you know, I mean, I'm not criticizing it, but they have kind of like, in, in, in this um, WWE 2K17, right, they have, like, you know, different entrances for the same, the same character on the selection screen, if you know what I mean, in a different attire. They could have easily done that here, what the fuck is that, dudes? This is kind of on an emulator thing, so I do apologize about the green. That is not a glitch you're seeing on the, uh, on, on the fucking video, but rather on the, on the game itself. But, you know, here we are, man. It's WrestleMania, and I suppose funky stuff does happen at WrestleMania. You can't, you can't really account for that, but here we are, the undisputed W. WWE champion and I guess that's a bit unfortunate with the with the screen glitching but you know that's what you get for playing on the kind of emulator or on a platform where the game weren't weren't released. Just skip the entrances sadly and just go right into the matchups here. Boom big clothesline there we're starting this one off. Make no mistake about it, it is WrestleMania it's the biggest I was about to say biggest party in the summer. See, w no one can say that WWE's marketing don't work. DDT and a big one at that. A big one at that. And Hulk Hogan, aye. That's you, shit. Hulking up already this early on. Oh, there we go. Typical Hulk Hogan fashion. Can the Hollywood Hulkster get the job? As he bids. You've got to imagine the poison of the NWO is going to run wild here if Hulk Hogan wins this thing. Big clothesline, no! Oh, Hogan with a kind of like, boom, that's a choke slam in it of itself and Hogan, Hogan. You shit, oh, look at Hogan. You went for that boot, take him, counters. Boom, choke slam. And is this it? Is this all she wrote for Hollywood? Hulk Hogan? No, it is. Oh my God, not yet. Using the fans, gone oh, as part of his redemption. Hogan, whoa, the power. Hogan has matched well with the champion here, but perhaps his time is over. Choke slam. Hulk Hogan, he felt that back, man. There it is. Rest in. Oh, that was close. Hogan using the power. Boom. Oh, ref. Ref, that's a little bit untoward. Look at the dead man again. You don't hide and you don't phase the dead man. Here we go. Undertaker says this one's all over. It may well be. Boom. And oh, wait, the dead man may want to punish Hogan. That little bit more first, look at this, boom, that second right hand, and this time the Undertaker does say it's over. Nope, maybe not, choke slam for the Hulkstar. Here we go, Hogan, whipped into the knee, turnbuckle, Hogan with a huge, huge bulldog, and perhaps Undertaker needs to, wow oh, man, the champion is, is in trouble, momentarily at least, before going old school. He truly is the of 
it's all over perhaps. Hogan grabbed to his feet, choke slam, and this will be the third one in the match. Probably would hope Hogan he is being close to being decimated here. Oh, Tombstone City! Yes, there we go, nailed it. And Hogan. Oh, oh my God. A big WrestleMania size. Good look how high up he is. Good God, man. Oh, wow, Hogan just. He worked the same after. Oh my God. Hogan with a huge reversal. Boom. That's legendary second wind of Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Boom, the Undertaker. Oh, dang. Oh. Again, beat down, net breaker, a huge one at that. Huge one at that for The Undertaker at this point in the match, and now The Undertaker on Hogan. I mean, you've got to imagine, like, no one can blame The Undertaker for being slightly overzealous. Oh, man. you got to imagine these two, they're not like each other one little bit, man. They were fighting for the top spot in the WWE from the moment Taker made his debut, you could argue. I mean, only a year after. Boom, only a year after he made his debut was Taker perhaps ousting Hulk Hogan from the top spot in the company. And what a reversal by Hogan for the second time. The whole cop, boom. Undertaker, a bit, no. Wow, Undertaker just no sold that shit. Hogan no sold that shit. Hogan. Oh, choke slam. Is this it? Oh, big one. Big one there. The Undertaker. Tombstone coming for the second time. Oh, you gotta give credit where credit's due for Hogan. He's survived plenty. Oh my god, he's not surviving another one. That'll be the third, I think. Oh my god. Dude. Hogan is, in the words of The Undertaker, going down, look at that, Undertaker says, you're out of here, Tombstone pile driver at WrestleMania, synonymous, Tombstone pile driver, the cover, it's all over, let's remember, ladies and germs, it took enough to tell, how many, did it take to put Hogan down as The Undertaker retains that championship? What was that? Four tombstones? Five? Couple of choke slams and a fucking last ride. Hogan deserves respect. Son of a bitch. Hogan holding the ribs, been damaged for shit, and are they going to? After all that's happened, man, would you believe they shake hands? I mean, perhaps. Oh, there you go. And now we've seen it all, man. That's a mark out moment if I ever saw one, both in the video game world and the real life. Well, the real life world when this actually did happen in real life. Undertaker may still be the champion. Of course, we're going to take Hulk Hogan as the unlockable superstar. Of course, we are. Undertaker may still be the champion, but you got to believe the real winner, in and by extension, the WWF, which no longer has to deal with the NWO poison. But 
Although it's not January, it is a new WWE year, and that's why I'm bloody saving it, because like, after WrestleMania moment like that, you can't risk not doing so. So WrestleMania, after WrestleMania, the Raw after WrestleMania, and we're against Kevin Nash, it looks like the NWO is not completely dead yet. Be interesting to see what happens tonight against Kevin Nash. WWE Raw. Wow. Hey, brother. I'm back. I'm a Hulkamaniac, so back. I'm full of juice of eating my vitamins and saying my prayers. Hulkamania is still very wild, brother. Well, we didn't need the thumbs up, Hulk, but you know. Oh no! It is Kevin Nash. Let me talk about being a party pooper. Well, basically, Nash just told us what we already knew by looking at the card. We're gonna face him tonight. DDP versus Randy Orton. Wow, Rand DDP loses wins against Randy Orton. And we face off against Kevin Nash. What a wild story mode this is. Like, as soon as you play it, like, you get right immersed, right back in. This is what I mean, man. Like, it has been since WWE 12, right? A good. Wow, it'll be six years. This year, it'll be six years since we've had a pre-written WWE story. See, that's what I mean, man. Okay, I guess you can count my career, but that was only in 2K15 and the career mode was shit then. Take a guy for a clothesline early. Trying to knock the big man Nash off his feet and does so with a side slide slam. Undertaker. Nash into the corner. Clothesline. He got him. Undertaker. Going for... Oh my god, look at this. Look at this from The Undertaker, huge super flat, big, seven plus footers. Oh, Undertaker's six foot fucking ten, and Kevin Nash, I believe, just over seven foot. These two good men are going like behemoths, but so far, this is a Super Cena style squash match. You know, although this was 2002, so John Cena had just made his debut earlier in the year, but wasn't in this game. Critique that and look at this. The Undertaker is single handedly beating the remaining poison out of the WWE. And look at that. Undertaker now is just beating the living hell out of Nash. The NWO have not looked like a serious threat in this angle because even they can't hide from the dead man. Look at that. The dead man pummeling. Nash goes behind for the ball submission. Nash goes behind for the first time. Oh, but he's on this. Here we go. Choke slam coming. Boom, nailed it. And in the words of JR. Oh, double act handle. Kevin Nash fighting back. The Undertaker, though. Oh, big play one. Nash. If Nash wins here, you've got to believe he sets himself up right in line for a, for a contender spot for that WWE Championship. Undertaker says this one's over though. I mean, whoa, he's just backing up his old Nashy boy. And this is all over. It's all she wrote. This is a post WrestleMania tombstone. Oh my god, look at Nash's head driven right into the mat. And this is over. It's all she wrote. Good night, Irene. It was a pleasure to meet you. You are toast. Good night. Goodness gracious me, Lord Almighty. What a win for the dead man. Oh, man. See, we are still getting beat down by the NWR. Oh, and there's Hogan. There is Hogan.
What you gonna do, brother? What you gonna do, brother? I mean, speaking of which, oh no, Nash is in the ring. Well, they need someone to replace Hogan. Now we'll introduce what? The newest member of the NWO. Son of a bitch. Wait. It better not be who I think it is. Oh my god. Oh dear lord almighty. Dear god man. Well that may be the greatest all round fucking in ring performer you've ever seen in your life and he just joined the NWO. This man has just joined the NWO, short hair and all, I mean, hell. Oh, I don't know about this. Michaels has joined the NWO. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, no. That's crazy, I can't believe this. Here comes John Michaels, the heartbreak kid. I'm just a sexy boy. I'm not your boy at all. I make them hot. I make them shiver. Well, that's it. Fuel Michaels has just joined the NWO. Anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a rate, comment, and subscribe for more because I can't believe this shit. And I definitely want to find out what happens. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm out.